So how many of you do not know what Boncho is? OK. We will solve this one very quickly, very easily. Uh, Poncho is a weather cat. It tells you the weather. Pretty simple. Uh, it is not a fox, contrary to what a lot of people ask. We have a lot of people actually ask, is Poncho a fox? Um, yeah, so uh, for those of you that don't know, we just launched at Facebook uh, Developer Conference F8 back in April. We've been doing the bot thing for about two months now. Um, let me turn that off. If I can't, I guess I can't. Uh, we had basically one month to launch this. Facebook came to us and said, hey, we think Poncho's great. You guys have been doing really interesting stuff with SMS, with email, and with your iOS app. We want you to do something on Facebook Messenger. We had one month to figure this out. It was a big what the fuck for us. Um, at the same time, we saw what was happening with Tay, Xiao Ice, and some of these other bots. And we knew that we needed to do something different. We wanted to be fun. We didn't want to get caught up in the bad feedback cycles that happened with Tay. So for us, one of the biggest concerns that we had was negative feedback, negative criticism, and how to deal with that. Uh, one of the big things with Tay was the screenshots that actually happened. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to pull up any of those, but you know, it was something that we were worried about. We did not want people taking screenshots of Poncho saying something bad, something terrible. We wanted to keep it PC enough, but also be friendly enough. Uh, so one of the things that we actually did was we built an entire content management system using ReefScript, which is very similar to uh, Rob Superscript, to allow our editors to go in and actually write out a bunch of different keywords, phrases, arrays of things, and be able to match on that. So this one, for instance, is a conversation flow for how to deal with banned words. You know, we don't want people coming in and saying a lot of nasty stuff. So let's say we're talking to Poncho Bot and we say the word fuck. Poncho says, hey, that's rude. It'll call you out. The trick, though, here is with sorry, if you say sorry, it'll be like, OK, I forgive you. But if you say whatever, we actually ignore you for a couple minutes. Because we don't want you to continue trying to harass the bot, trolling us, whatever else. So I'll come in here and I'll just say sorry. And Poncho forgives us. Um, but you know, we can't do everything right. People are going to complain. People are going to find problems with us. So for instance, this person tried to talk to the bot, got a little bit uh, carried away, decided to you know, be like, hey, you keep on talking to us, typing to us. That happens. Um, but at the end of the day, though, like we are a weather bot. We're trying to do interesting things. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, no, not that one. Oh, yeah. So for instance, like, you know, there's a lot of people that you know, understand Tian Lingua. They understand things like BB, L, you know, LMAO, LOL. But there's a lot of people that don't. There's a lot of actually old adults also using this. Uh, we're finding that to be a, a fun challenge to, to do is how do we respond back using normal language, but also be able to feel fun and playful with our language. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. I'm a little scatterbrained today, so I apologize if that was a, a big whatever. Um, but yeah, if you guys haven't talked to Poncho, you guys should. You should ask it the weather. You should talk to it. We have a lot of different uh, conversation flows, so you guys can like say, hey, Poncho, you know, hey, I love you, or whatever else. So you know, even something as simple as sending a like can be able to respond back. Um, and if you guys ever have any questions, you can just hit me up, uh, you know, gluch. Um, you guys can find me on the uh, invite list for botanists. Happy to talk to you guys more about this.